Hey there everybody, how you doing this morning? My name's Tom Rigsby. This, this show right here is called 7 Minutes in the Morning where we spend uh, so somewhere around 7 minutes talking about um, how to help you stop letting life happen to you and create the life you crave. There, I tried something new. See how that was going to go. Hey Joe, good morning. Listen, if you are watching the show... Whether you're watching it live, watching it on the replay, maybe you heard it on your favorite podcast catcher and came over to Facebook to watch the show. Doesn't matter. It might even be months from now when you're watching all of the back catalog of videos. That's cool too. Um, leave a comment down there. Let me know that you came by and uh, let me know what you think of the show today. Uh, what did I call it today? B A U P. P R U B A U, no. Okay, go. Oh. I'm looking at my uh, at my outline over here on the whiteboard. I know what it is. Oh, B A U P R A U. That's it. B A U P R A U. I'll decode that for you in just a minute. Before I do. Uh, today is Wednesday. That means the coffee shop show is coming up at 9 o'clock. Be sure and tune in for that. Uh, you can find that right here, same place, 7 minutes in the morning.com or on Facebook and go look for the coffee shop show. Uh, you'll find us there. All right. So, uh, hey, George, good morning. Hey, it's good to see you here. I hadn't, hadn't seen you stop by in a little bit. I'm glad you did. All right. B A U P R. AU stands for business as usual produces results as usual. Yesterday we were talking about um, how your short term thinking, short term actions betray your long or um, create your long term results. And earlier this week, uh, your actions betray your priorities. So yesterday I kind of I, I kind of dipped my toe into this pool just a little bit, but uh, I wanted to come back around to it today. If you want if you're dissatisfied with the results that you're getting right now, you have to do something different, right? I think it was, was it Einstein that said, defined insanity? You do the same things the same way and expect different results, that's insanity. If you keep doing the same things you're doing every day, if you keep getting up every morning, pour a cup of coffee, go sit on the couch and watch TV and wait for the publisher's clearinghouse folks to knock on the door, and they hadn't done it in a couple of decades. They're probably not going to do it in a couple of more decades. Chances are slim, right? But if you so, if you want to create a different result, maybe you should, you know, submit your entry to Publishers Clearinghouse. That will at least increase your chance. Now, my point is, look, we all the time, and I even talked about this a little bit yesterday. We we set the we get this vision. Of, okay, I want to make. A, a, let's say 2018. My vision for 2018 is to make it a million dollar year, and then we start trying to make a million dollars every month, and then it doesn't happen. And then it's like this isn't going to work. And then you get to the end of the year, and suddenly you're in the same place you were last year because you did the same things this year that you did last year. So it produced the same result that you got last year. If you want to change the outcome, if you want to change the result, you have to do something different, even if it's little. A 1% deviation in course can lead to a big change, you know, further down the road. It, it, does, it depends on how far, how long the road is, but it doesn't take very much, right? Just a little bit, but do something different. Now, how do you figure out what you have to do different? Uh, the easiest way is just trial and error, right? Let's see. So uh, it's kind of like the, the the joke, the old story, you know. Guy goes to the doctor, he's got a stick in his eye. He's like, Doc, this stick in my eye, it hurts. He's like, well, quit stabbing yourself in the eye with a stick, right? Figure out what it is that's causing the pain or not producing the result in this case and do something different. It's... And you can be scientific, you can apply the scientific method to it, but it's still going to 
ultimately come down to trial and error, right? Try something, see if that produces a result. Now, and this kind of gets into what I talk about, you know, as in my opinion, the best way to build a business is find a market that has a problem, then solve that problem. Most people go about it backwards and create a product and then try to find people to buy it. I find people with money to spend and then try to solve a problem for them. That, that seems easier to me. Right? But whatever the method is for you, find that method, try it, and see if it produces the results. Now, because there are only 24 hours in a day, 60 minutes in an hour, you're probably going to have to give up something in order to start something else. So this also requires, not only does it require um, a little bit of homework, trying to figure out what you need to do differently, it also requires, um, God, I want to call it courage, but it's not really courage. It's it's just get rid of the crap that's not producing results. I mean, I used to talk, I, I, I don't, yeah, I, honestly, I don't hear this as much anymore. Maybe it's because you guys have been listening and, or maybe you heard and you just don't mention it to me anymore. But, you know, don't hit me up on Facebook and say, oh, I can't get, you know, I've, I've been trying to, to start something, build something, and it's just not working. And then the rest of your Facebook feed is full of, you know, come join me in this game or come join me in that game or you just reached a new level in the other game. Stop doing that. Or, you know, watch TV is kind of my pet peeve. And I used to talk about a couple of years ago, I read a bunch of books, 63 books in one year. And people say, well, how do you have time to do this? Well, I don't watch TV. I really don't. Even now, I mean, my wife and I will we'll pick a series, a show, and then we'll binge that. We'll watch one or two episodes a night, you know, depending on how long they are, what we had going on that day. Might skip a couple of days, but that's it. I don't sit there and just flip through a bunch of channels and nothing. So it saves me from having to pay for it, one, and it saves me from wasting time doing it. The point is, find the thing that you're doing that's not producing the results you want. Chuck it. Get rid of it. And look, if it makes you feel better, just say, well, I'm doing an experiment and I'm not going to watch TV for a week or whatever your thing is, right? And maybe you can double up on some stuff. Maybe you like, like we are going to do today. You like to go hang out at the coffee shop. Work while you're at the coffee shop. Don't just sit there and look around, you know, do something productive. All right, that's it. I'm going to let, uh, let that go today. Business as usual produces results as usual. If you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to keep getting what you've always gotten. Lots of different ways to say it, but it's all the truth. Find, create an experiment, test something to see if it's going to give you the result you want, and then you got to do a gut check and get rid of something that's not working for you. That's it. Coffee Shop Show's coming up at 9 o'clock this morning. Be sure and join us for that. Uh, otherwise, you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.